I want to show you guys a different kind of relay for glow plugs from a Sprinter. I believe exactly my model, the above uh, 2006. But uh, everywhere on the internet we have uh, this kind of relay. This relay has a lot of damage. Internet and YouTube, a lot of information. If you have a check engine light code about your relay, about your glow plugs, probably it's uh, just uh, issues like this one. So one channel is burning, that's why your one from uh, five uh, glow plugs doesn't work. But uh, this kind of relay has a uh, power supply 12 volts it has a uh, four pins uh, I mean five pins uh, to the low plugs and is a uh, it has a uh, control control pins three pin so uh, this is the for control and check the status this is for uh, all five glow plugs and over here we have a physical relay it's a very powerful relay I believe it's uh, 100 amps maybe 120 amps so technically that's uh, the same relay with uh, coil like uh, just a regular from, from almost every car it's normally open relay so uh, about this one, uh, I am planning to fix this. Simply just replace this part, and uh, if I can find some enough uh, powerful for a uh, 120 amps separate physical relay, I am planning to install this together with uh, this model. Okay. On my other sprinter, uh, I have check engine light with uh, low plug relay, good, and when I open it, it's completely different. Both ones is 06, and this one, if you're gonna compare with the older one. This one from 2006 and this one from 2006 too. If in uh, this case we have a physical heavy duty, let's say, relay, so in uh, this case we don't have it. And if right here we have uh, some, some issues, what we can fix. At this one we are, cannot fix the, almost anything. Okay, so from other side, it's almost as exactly the same. We have power supply, we have an output for a glow plug, we have a control and checking status. But so on this model, we have a spring over here. It's a, let's say, it's huge or powerful or high current. MOSFET and we have two of them one and the second one and from here we can see this is the one part of MOSFET the second one so one MOSFET is uh, feeling fitting uh, to uh, I believe to this one and this one uh, low plugs and the other one is fitting to this and this and this so it's going to be one two one two three four so total we have uh, six outputs over here so one MOSFET is fitting uh, two channels so one two for one MOSFET and for other 
for two output. One, two, three, four. I hope in my case it was just a corrosion or a power supply. So I'm gonna clean this out and we'll see if it's work. If not, probably I'm gonna take it apart and check this most fast. We'll see what I can do. Okay.